What's up, Carol? It's your Rock 103 on the Bear here with some of the guys uh, from Saliva, man. How you guys been, man? Good. Great. Good. We're glad to be back out on the road. Yeah, a little setback there for a minute. Kind of scared us all for a minute. Uh, tell us what happened and uh, how you guys kind of reacted and uh, what you had to do to get back out there again. Well, uh, <laughs> Josie had a health problem and uh, we were. It was pretty scary, actually. He um, he tried to make it through one show and he came back out and he kept having to go back and forth. And finally, we were just like, dude, something really is wrong. So he ended up having an ulcer, and it was with. If they didn't get to it within 24 hours, he was going to die. So they caught it just in time. That's going to be a scary feeling, man. You guys have been together for a long time, man. Right. Yeah, it, we were all very, very scared there for just a minute, but luckily. Uh, it's, it's over now, and we're back, ready to kill it. I heard you guys are going to have the guy from Silvertide step in for a minute. Uh, what happened with that? Well, um, it just wasn't a right fit stylistically. You know, it was a, if, if we were, he's more of a, he's not, he's not a, so aggressive in what we needed, but he's a great singer, you know, nothing. Mm -hmm. It's just apples and oranges, you know. It just, did, it just didn't feel right, you know what I mean? Right. So we were like, man, we just need to just wait. We'll just wait it out. We didn't want to half-ass it to the fans. Not that he was the half-ass singer, but when people show up, they want to see Josie Scott and they yeah, want to hear, right, and right. they want to hear, you know, certain things. So we, I think you guys made the right choice stepping back because you guys got a huge following, and there's nothing worse to go pay for a band, you. then you got to go back through and play again and almost do a makeup anyway. I would rather, I would rather just have to make it up. Right. And then have, instead of half asking, because that'll get around a lot quicker, right. <laughs> you know, you, they suck, they suck, that gets around real quick. Or the rumors start. Right, yeah. exactly. That, that, don't we know. don't want any of that. Well, you guys got a lot going on this year, and um, you got Rock on the Range going on now. You're back out on the road. Did you guys get back out with Static, or are you going to be doing something else for the rest of the year? No, I think we're going to do something else. Um, well, we got. I, I'm not real sure what's going on. There's some pretty big stuff happening. We're doing all the festivals and obviously the fairs, and well, we're doing pretty good. I'm glad to be on the road. This is this is home to me. You know, I get home and do this. You know, I'm bored to death. So yeah, I like this. Well, you guys have been having great success with the new album. You've already got three singles out there, um, and I, th I think there's a couple more on there. You guys gonna push a few more songs off the new album? That's really up to the label. We hope so. So, <laughs> well, we, we want them to. I mean, we're, we're definitely happy we're, with where we're at with it right now, though. Either way, so. Now, being musicians and and whatnot, I mean, you got to be fans too. Are you guys gonna stick around and see some of the bands tonight? Oh yeah, Alice yeah. of Chains. And we're actually really mad because we have a another show tomorrow, and we got to leave at ten, which is right when Slipknot goes on, so we get can't watch Slipknot. I think we should just. I think we should just be somewhere else. We might else. veto the bus call. Right, right. I don't know. <laughs> we might just be somewhere else when bus calls. Up. Yeah. I have a feeling when Allison Chains plays tonight, everybody's going to be watching that oh, one, yeah. including us. Yeah, those are yeah. like we—that's our idols. So. Especially, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Now let's go back, way back before Saliva. What were some of the early band names that you guys have had throughout the years? Any funny ones you can dig up for me? Well, I, I was at a band called Full Devil Jacket. Long oh, I remember that. And that was a badass album too, man. That was a badass album, man. I think I still have a guitar pick from way back when, man. Oh yeah. How about you, man? Man, <laughs> I, there's so many. Um, there's so many bands. I'm, I'm not necessarily going to admit that any of these were my bands, but I can definitely speak for some of the other band members. There was like the Gemini Clan, the Dixie Rebels, anything you can think of. Any of us have been in like these bands, so we make fun of each other on the bus all the time about other, other bands we've been in. So I won't say any names, though. That way, you know, no one gets offended. But. Well, you guys got a lot going on. I really appreciate the time you guys stopping in, man. You guys keep up the great work. Can't wait to see you guys. I know you guys are going to be coming through uh, the South Bend area sometime uh, late, uh, I think early September. So I, we can't wait to see you guys come back, man. Thank you. Saliva, Real Rock 103 on the Bear, baby.